Hello, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. This is it. This is finally it. The last one. We are at the final Care Bears movie! <laughs> enchanted realm of shit watching these movies but we're finally here the very last one taste the rainbow motherfuckers this is care bears in wonderland rise and shine get a glow because you know you're gonna shine like the star you are you are while these may not be the worst films I've ever seen, there's just an annoyance that goes along with the Care Bears name. And this film is no exception. Not only do they insult the intelligence of the younger audience watching this, but now they insult the intelligence of the Timeless Lewis Carroll books. That's two slaps in the face for one. How bad is it? Well, apparently it wasn't even good enough to get a DVD release. So that means that this... Do you have a house made all out of wood? And this... Time for a game of disappearing bears. ...deserves much better treatment than this. Bring it on! So we see this time, instead of a movie company making this film, we instead get a movie theater company. Because, obviously, nobody should keep this gift of cinema away from the movie going public. Rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine. And I guess they actually got Natalie Cole to sing the opening song this time. Another day, rise and shine, get a glow, cause you know you're gonna shine. Give her some credit, though, she puts more energy into it than Carol King. Who sounds like she's singing it in her fucking sleep? Here or not, it's a rainbow fantasy for laughing out loud. Here or not, here's a place we all can go. For laughing and singing. So we start off with Grumpy Bear waking up to a strange surprise. A white rabbit is stuck in his mirror. <laughs> well, must be the sign effects of the antidepressants. This one! Who are you? No time for questions. Wow! <laughs> so it turns out the rabbit is looking for Swiftheart. Why? Get this. Because they're related. Uncle! <laughs> what brings you all the way from Wonderland? Yeah, that's right. The rabbit from Alice in Wonderland is related to the rabbit from Care Bears. No shit! What other family tree surprises do you think are out there? Do you think Slippy is related to Mr. Toad? Or Toto is related to Beethoven? Or Tom Thumb is related to Danny DeVito? The possibilities are just endless! But actually, that's not even the biggest surprise. Here's the real shocker for me. Does anyone know the whereabouts of my niece? One Swift Heart Rabbit by name. Wait a minute, Swift Heart is a chick? I never knew that! Oh my god, I totally thought he was a dude this whole time! I mean, okay, I don't need all women to wear bows and dresses and stuff, but... SOME kind of clue would be nice! I mean, you know, bigger eyelashes, or redder lips, or... No, no, we're not opening that door again! What brought me here? She did! Uh, her! You and your friends must help me find this girl! Oh, you mean... Princess Peach? Yeah, there's no comparison. It's fucking Princess Peach! And we find out later that she's been kidnapped by an evil monster in a magical land from a giant castle. Why is it fucking Care Bears in Wonderland is closer to a Super Mario Brothers movie than the actual Super Mario Brothers movie? Okay, okay, keep the review focused. We're hating this film. So it turns out they have to find this princess character, or else. Or else what? Or else an evil wizard will take over all of Wonderland and everyone there will be forced to obey him. So, rather than do something crazy like, oh, I don't know, search Wonderland for her, the rabbit decides to get the Care Bears to roam the Earth and try to find her. Oh, what about breakfast? Has anybody seen this girl? She's so young and small. I just love the fact that the whole world has totally accepted the fact that just Care Bears exist now. For them, it's just an everyday occurrence. We got to get together, got to use our minds. We got to find this girl in this not much time. Nobody questions the fact that these things are walking around. Hell, they even drop by a zoo. How confusing is that to see a bear out of a cage in a fucking zoo? Do you think they talk to the other bears there? Hey, keep strong, my brother. Fight the good fight. So while they don't find her, they do find a girl that looks very similar to her. Her name is Alice, big surprise, and she's sad because she doesn't feel special. What's the use? They're such special people and I'm... I'm just me. Oh, Dinah! It doesn't matter what I do. 
I'm just not special. No, curse this youthful face, expressive eyes, long flowing hair, perfect teeth, clear skin, and excellent speaking voice. I want to be special! You know, like Susie down the street with her head retainer, bad acne, and unexplained third eye. She's the girl we all want to be! But faster than you can say, who fucking cares? The Care Bears arrive to explain their situation. The resemblance oh. is remarkable, but the rest, the clothes, the hair... You look just like the princess. Princess? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure she's special enough. No, I think we were closer talking to that Susie chick with the three eyes. No! Well, I... I couldn't go alone. You don't have to, Alex. We're ready. And willing. And able. Actually, I sort of been talking to my parents about going on this whole trip. Oh, uh, yeah, you probably don't want to bring this up to them. Uh, what we're doing is most likely very, very illegal, seeing how you're a minor. Uh, the best way to look at this is just as a whimsical adventure, and that way we don't have to bring in the authorities. Well, couldn't I at least call my mom? And... You would or I'll eat you. Okay. So they start going through the mirror when suddenly the evil wizard breaks it to pieces, meaning the team is split up. Rather than just, oh, I don't know, going into another mirror, they decide to find an enchanted hole to climb into. What a coincidence! I also have an enchanted hole these schmucks can climb into. How about looking for breakfast first? Oh yeah, there's a running joke, by the way, that Grumpy constantly starves because he hasn't eaten all day. What's this building up to? Oh, you'll see when we get there. Whoa! Remember this from the much better Disney movie. Oh, you mean with Johnny Depp? No, the much better Disney movie. <laughs> so the two groups venture through Wonderland. As you'd imagine, it's goofy, crazy, and all those other things you come to expect. But then the evil wizard named Evil Wizard sends out his two henchmen, who I can only assume are called Tweedle Annoying and Tweedle Obnoxious. They're sent out to stop them from reaching the castle. Who are you? Uh, 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 the uh, palace uh, told us to uh, to uh, give a uh, uh, the queen. Uh, the queen. The palace told us to give the queen a lift to uh, 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 you. No, no, no. What, what my, my brother, brother means is, is the, uh, the you may notice a lack of enjoyment emanating from these characters, and instead replaced with undiluted sodomy of the senses. Now, the reason behind this is God hates you, and he shows it with characters. The Tweedle Dick and Tweedle Cheese quickly send out their giant red robots for them. That's right, giant robots. Clearly fitting the Victorian based novel that this hack film was loosely based on. But hey, if Tim Burton can throw in breakdancing, I guess Care Bears can throw in giant robots. <laughs> but the Care Bears defeat the giant robots and eventually meet up with the other group. Just when they're trying to figure out what to do next, they hear a strange rapping sound. The Cheshire Cat. Who else? You know, I see that princess in a lonely room where the wizard's got a lot to wait. Now he's one bad dude, he's in a nasty mood, and he wants to be the king someday. You know, it's funny. This is the only character I find myself actually kind of liking in this whole film, but maybe that's because the bar has been set so phenomenally low that even a rapping cat in Alice in Wonderland is on the ups. A few of you get Alice to the palace and the rest here's what to do. Yeah, how would you like to see a rap-off between the rapping cat from Care Bears and the rapping dog from Titanic? Oh God, I said it! Working all day, now it's time to unwind. Well, I can see the man had a grind. I hope he wants to set that princess free. He got me busting the moves and I'll be busting the rides. We'll be busting the laughing cause it's party time. Don't make it party time. Dogs and cats living together.